What's up everyone? Whatever Robert. What I want to talk about is being creative. Sometimes you don't got to have the best equipment. Sometimes all you need is an iPhone or an Android as long as it can do videos. And you can even grab an old digital camera as long as it does videos. Creativity doesn't stop. As long as you have a camera to do video, you can make a video and be creative. And when I mean you can use any camera, like an old digital camera, if it does a video, you could be creative to create a video. You could have so many different cameras to use. As long as they do videos, you can be creative. And you can always buy a camera that makes better videos. This is just a Nikon and this is another Nikon. I was lucky to get these to be creative. But it doesn't end there because you can use basically any camera as long as it does videos to be creative. Then you can get yourself one of these. It's a DSLR. They make smaller ones and this does cameras, pictures to video. And you can add a mic. See, when you get a camera, you want to make sure they have mic jacks so you can insert your mic and use. That way, you might have better sound quality in your audio. Then when you want better audio, you got to get a mic. Sometimes you can find a nice cheap mic where I got this one for eight bucks. And it has a switch where it has low frequency sound to higher frequency to get better volume in the mic. And then I went above and bought a Rode mic. And then I got the little vlogging mic from Rode. See, because sometimes you need that extra volume. And then with the GoPro, it's a different story. What I'm filming this one is a GoPro 2. And it looks good. Lighting makes a difference. And it depends on how close you stand to the camera. You get better audio. This is number one. This is the first GoPro. But wait, the very first GoPro is a 35mm camera. This is the second one that takes AAA batteries. And video and audio on this is poor because it's old. So if you want to get a GoPro, go from 2 and up. But if you're better off, get a 5, 4, or a 6 or a 7, and then it's better quality. I found this Samsung camera and found out it did videos. I did a whole video on it and it worked. And I got this out of a garbage bin. I was walking past and I seen a camera case and I opened it and this camera was in there. So I tried it. Put an SD card in there, charged it, and it worked. And the video worked. The reason why I'm doing this video, I was at a community fair and a little kid came up to me and said, I really want a GoPro. Where'd you get your GoPro? Because I really want to tell my mom and dad to buy me a GoPro. I told him eBay, GoPro.com, or go to a pawn shop. They might have a little digital camera that does videos or something else. Or I recently bought a GoPro from a thrift store for $30 and it had the back to see the screen. It came with two extra batteries and had an SD card. I locked that. For $30, it was a great buy. Now that I showed you all my cameras, I got to put them all away. And that's another topic. Have a nice case for your camera so you can take care of it. I have a lot of camera bags. I got my Canons and my Canon Rebel bag. And I have other cameras in the camera backpack. And my GoPro sit in a drawer. And they're in a GoPro case with all my GoPros. And then I got a Toe Peak one that holds two cameras. And this can go on a bike. But I really use it just to carry two cameras. And they're old video cameras that take SD cards. Then, now that you got a camera, you got to get a tripod. Where can you get a tripod? Walmart, Amazon, Target. Better yet, go to a thrift store. I bought at least five from the thrift store under $10. Two of them were brand new. I even got a monopod. It's just a stick to hold the camera. 
I paid six bucks for that. You can't go wrong. Always check your thrift stores because you might just find a GoPro or a digital camera to be creative to do a video. Do yourself a favor. Buy extra batteries for your cameras so you can have backup batteries because when you're filming sometimes your battery goes dead so you need to insert a charge. Then you need to buy chargers. Amazon sells these. All you do is put the make of the camera in and it comes up. Where I buy a lot for my GoPros because behind me I got like six of these because I have a lot of GoPros and it helps because sometimes you got to do two sets of batteries where this one holds three and this one holds three and sometimes chargers you can do one at a time then when you're being creative you gotta get yourself one of these a ring light because you need lighting right behind me is a spotlight that's actually blinding me but it's making lighting better to do this video now mind you if you're doing action, riding a bike, doing skateboarding, you might want to find yourself with a GoPro or a camera with a handle. So you might ask yourself, well, how do I hold a digital camera if I don't got a handle? Well, here you do. You get your tripod, mini tripod, you loosen it, put it like that, and then go like that. Hold it. Extend your feet. Now you got it. That's a handle. So there's other ways. I bought this off of Amazon. Camera goes right here and you can hold it. I got this off the of Amazon as well. Put the camera here. Now you can hold it. Sometimes you can make your own as well. If you want to make a DIY camera holder or mount, check out DIY camera mounts on YouTube and a thousand of them come up with PVC and PVC is cheap. The only thing is you got to glue it together to make sure it don't fall apart. And do yourself a favor, buy black spray paint to make it look authentic. And you don't got any camera and all you got is your cell phone. Hey, if it does a video, there it is. You can be creative that way too. This video is all from when this kid asked me. I want a GoPro. I got to ask my mom and dad to get me one. I really want a GoPro. So I made this video just because of that because sometimes people just don't know how to start to be creative with a camera. And I hope this gives somebody out there a view of how I got started. I got started with the number one GoPro. Then I was on a lot of vacations and I had a video camera. That's now long gone. I don't know where it's at. And then I won my first GoPro at a mountain bike race. So that started the whole thing for me. And then my friend who's in Florida is a sports photographer. And I watched him through the years and it just made me want to get some cameras and start it. And I did. It's all about being creative. Hope you like my video. Do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video because the more likes I get on a video, that algorithm on YouTube makes it blast even more. And it is free to subscribe to a YouTube channel, as long as you got a Gmail account. And while you're at it, when you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get a notification every time I upload a video. This is Whatever Robert. Whatever you do, make it fun.